I feel like such a stiff wearing a tie with you when you're so elegantly dressed. Well, I'm afraid this is actually, it should be the undershirt. <laughs> I should be wearing a long garb if I was really proper. <laughs> okay then. Johnson Chang, thank you very much for your time, but more so for committing your life to showing the world what artists in China are doing. And having done so for well over four decades, in 1981, you staged your first exhibition of Chinese contemporary art. What was the reaction to the works that you gave them to see? Um, that was an interesting exhibition in the sense that it's, uh, it's an exhibition of an artist that people actually know well in Hong Kong, but thought that he had gone past uh, the hill or, or think that he had actually lost his mind because he was doing so crazy works. His name is Louis Chang. He was born in the Qing Dynasty in 1905. But he was doing things which uh, at that time none of the cutting edge artists would do. And today he would become fashionable. So this was um, how I started. 1981 was also the eve of the social and economic reforms that triggered the biggest transformation in China's modern history and perhaps its whole history as well. Looking back, how do you think that was expressed in the works that you were showing of that time? China has been in this constant search for the modern, for the new, since the early part of the 20th century. So uh, 1981 was probably one of the most important moments of another change. And, uh, the 80s was important in that it was a socialist system experimenting with the capitalist system. So it was a very important decade for us to move today. You are a mainstay of Art Basel, the most important show of its kind in the world. When people walk past your space at Art Basel, not just the collecting public, but the wider public, what do they ask you and is there a genre or type of work that seems to draw them towards you? One would be new artists, new work. The other uh, angle I take is art which I hope will connect with the finest tradition of Chinese cultural history. And in the last few years I've been working very much on uh, the theme of landscape. Um, landscape art in China is like religious art for Europe. It is the spiritual realm which people have imagined and worked upon for centuries. And we have a new generation of um, first-rate landscape artists, so that I work on as well. Today there is obviously a deep interest in Chinese contemporary art because of people like yourself. When you look at Chinese contemporary art, has it in any way helped the world to better understand a nation and its 1.4 billion people? Um, definitely, this is probably the most important uh, intuitive way of understanding a, a culture is to grasp it visually, uh, sensually, and now with video art and also with a lot of more immersive experience. For Chinese art, um, the fact that it, it was totally closed off to the world, especially experimental part of it, um, made it a very, very uh, intriguing uh, cultural experience for the non-Chinese world in the 90s. But then in the past 30 years, um, the world has actually been, uh, ex been exposed and also understand a lot of what has been happening in the last 30 years uh, on the creative platform. And I think um, a lot of people get their knowledge about Chinese art and uh, about how Chinese people think and the direction people take and their desires through what artists do. You have a serenity, a calmness, which betrays the fact that there's also a great urgency about you to document the past for the future so that that archive of memories contributes to our understanding of our own identities as Chinese, as Asians, as global citizens. Have we achieved that yet? Well, archiving and moving forward, I think, are just uh, two sides of the same coin. Moving forward, you always carry your memory with you. And uh, the, the important thing about Chinese civilization is that it has always carried its historical memory with it as it goes, goes, goes forward. But in the 20th century, um, 
having to take in so much new ideas, especially in this shocking news that is happening in the West all the time. Art tells the story of, of the people and, and their souls in this turmoil and this excitement, and uh, it tells the story of their hopes. I'm James Chow, host of The China Current. We thank you for walking on this journey with us. Keep following us there at The China Current.